Good evening, brother. It's Thursday, October 4th, 2012. The presidential debate was on last night, and I present my thoughts now en route to the grocery store. So, my thoughts on the presidential debate that went on last night. I think I was rather disappointed on both accounts. That is to say, I think that Mitt Romney stuck to his talking points and Barack Obama stuck to his talking points, and they really didn't talk to one another. The moderator didn't moderate very well at all, in my opinion. He let them go long, uh, he let them cut in on one another, and I think that, well, as much as cutting in on one another is a good thing from time to time, I think that there wasn't a clear idea that there was an equal balance of time between the two. And I felt like there was a lot of, well, I have to respond to that, or I have to respond to that. Fact checks have basically said that Mitt Romney made mistakes and Obama made mistakes. So neither of them are blameless in that regard. I don't have too much of a problem with that. I just hope that the next time Obama comes off a little bit more fire. Generally speaking, pundits have said that Mitt Romney won that one because he was feisty and aggressive, but still, selling the same product, just with a little bit more fire, doesn't necessarily make you want to buy it. Obama could be helped if he wasn't all the things that a president does. I still think that he's going to win. I have no cons really, real concerns about that. I just think that this debate was not a good one for him. The one thing that Mitt Romney has repeatedly said and done is talked about how he's planning on reducing taxes for everyone, across the board cuts. He won't say how. And when asked and presented with, well, no one can figure out how you would do it, he's responded, well, I'm not going to come to the table and tell you what I want. I'm going to tell you what my principles are, and then we'll negotiate and figure it out. I think the problem there is that by not stating his position, he is letting other people draft the narrative around which his campaign is based. So they say, he has no answer. these are the best answers that we can figure out based off of reality. Now, he did give a few specifics sufficient really to cover it, like cutting the funds for PBS, and which would be like the other grass days and said it was less than a hundred of a percentage. That, so a drop in the bucket. I think one thing that Obama could have gone after him for was talked about, okay, you want to spend another two trillion dollars on the military. What do you want to spend it on? The military doesn't want it, they haven't asked for it. So why do you think it's important that, you, that they spend another $2 trillion on the military? What things are you going to add that the military hasn't already asked for? One thing that my American friends have commented on, at least the guys I know in Guild have commented on, is that they've gotten too much information. It's been information overload about the election. And I think that that's a problem. Now, on one side, there should be it should be affordable for anyone who wants to get into the race to be in the race. And so that the amount of money that you have doesn't trump the message that you're sending. Now that said, I think that they should have a limit of the number of hours per week of advertising and not news, but let's say just advertising to cover the material, so that campaigns have to be more strategic about what they're talking about and who they're targeting. So you don't have these wall-to-wall, -wall, eight months worth of advertisements that eventually turns everyone off of elections because it bores them. It's just a little bit too much. In other news, the European Southern Observatory uh, the people who have such brilliant names for telescopes like the VLT, the Very Large Telescope, are coming out with the EELT, or the European Extremely Large Telescope. 
Uh, it is going to be approximately 39 meters in diameter. It's going to have 800 individually controlled honeycomb segments, just like the ones on Hawaii. And uh, it looks like they're going to be planning four of those atmospheric disruption cancelling lasers uh, at the corners. It's going to be built uh, near one of their sub, uh, sub millimeter observatories in the Chilean highlands. Opportunity on Mars has recently discovered two different types of nodules on the ground. They're not the spherical rocks that Curiosity has picked up, but apparently some kind of... They're not sure quite what they are, but they might be lava debris or something else like that. They have called the first group blueberries and the new ones newberries. They're only about six millimeters in diameter, and they seem to poke out through the surrounding rock. So Opportunity is still doing science. A completely different topic, I'm not sure how much you know about DNA versus RNA, but I learned a little bit about that recently when watching a talk on viruses, and they were talking about the differences between DNA and RNA, in that DNA has repetitive segments as well as caps on the end, known as telomeres, that allow them to have a certain amount of fidelity, so that they basically, as they're being copied, they know, okay, I've reached the end, I can go on and it cuts the DNA fragments into known sequences so that the replicators know that they're getting it right over and over again. RNA, however, is used in viruses and is a lot more vulnerable to being broken up or disrupted. It also means that it can adapt far, far faster than uh, DNA to changes. That's why, in one example, they said they have mosquitoes that parasite on us bacteria that parasite on the mosquitoes, and then virus, the viruses that parasite on the bacteria. It goes all the way down, parasites. I didn't know this, but the Greek word for parasite comes from to eat at another person's table. I continue to work through and try to figure out what I'm going to be doing with all the food that I got yesterday. I went out and purchased some more groceries today to help fill in the corners, but we shall see. Anyway, I hope you're doing well today. I'll talk to you soon.